Our first feature or characteristic of atoms is the atomic number. The atomic number has the letter Z, that is the representative symbol for it. So if you find in a book that it says Z equals 2, then it's saying the atomic number is 2. The reason why it's given the symbol Z, we think that from history that it was once referred to as atom Zal in German, which Zal meaning a figurative number in a similar sense that when you play a game of sport, you might have a number on your jersey or uniform that identifies you from the other players. It's your identifying number. Same principle is happening here with atoms. Specifically, every element on the periodic table of elements has a unique atomic number all the way from number 1 to 118, at least at the time of making this video. So, what's so special about the atomic number? Well, it tells us exactly how many protons an atom would have from that element. So, if we are looking at atomic number 1, which is hydrogen, I'm looking over there for the periodic table, hydrogen has atomic number 1, that tells us that, that a hydrogen atom has one proton in the middle. If we're looking at another element, such as carbon, carbon, its atomic number is six. That tells us we have six protons in the nucleus of a carbon atom. And we use this all the time. So I'm gonna take a minute here and, and point it out to you where you can find the atomic number, just by looking at some information from the periodic table. So I've taken a slice out of it. This is, I, I guess you could call it a plate or a section of it. This is the symbol for sodium. NA. And you can see that there's a bunch of numbers in there. Sometimes a more complicated or advanced periodic table will have more information in there than just these two values. But these are the two essentials that you work with um, on a day-to-day -day basis. You can see that I've got the number 11 at the top. Let me switch that to blue. I just like to color code this. Number 11. That is the atomic number. It is usually the smaller number out of the two values you can find in a particular section of the periodic table. The other one is actually the mass number. Now, I won't go into that in this video. You'll have to watch it in the next section. Let's go back to the atomic number. It's this value here. So if there are more than one value inside, the, uh, inside a section, a plate, then you must pick the smaller one, and that is the atomic number. And that tells you how many protons that atom must have. Very simple concept. We're going to move on to the mass number.